Hey guys, so right here I have three coins that I just got in the mail. Um, most of them were, or two of them were off eBay, but um, I got good deals on them. They weren't, they weren't like bids. They were buy it, or they were best offers. And I also got one of them's free. So here, this is. A 1964 D silver quarter. This one was from Book of Nick. Shout out to him. Um, you had to pledge nonviolence, and if you made a video response to it, then you got a free silver quarter. And which was really nice of him, but it also got the message out to people. And I think there's still slots to um, do it. Like, people can still do it. It was the first ten people, and it's been up since, like, January. I don't know how many other people haven't used it to their advantage. Here, I got a American Silver Eagle. Um, 2000. It's got little toning around the edge. I mean, nothing special, but I like the Silver Eagle since they're government minted, and I can always know that they're what they are. And then the next one is possibly my, it's in my top favorite coins. Um, the tough thing about having the coins is, well, it's really to your advantage, too. You, there's a lot of, it's like you're buying a piece of art, too. And the people that make the coins, they use the, what they have so well, and they make such pieces of art. Um... Silver Eagle, the front, is the obverse is obviously an extremely nice um, obverse t taken from the Walking Liberty half dollar, which is my favorite half dollar by far. But the reverse sort of like, it, it, I think it sort of lets it down. I mean, it's a modern reverse. There's nothing special about it. It looks like what's on the back of the Kennedy half. But here is the coin that I was just talking about. So I like my Panda. It's an awesome coin. I love the way that they use the frosted and mirror devices and all the techniques. The Koalas are, once again, awesome. Um, I love Silver Eagles just because I like them. Then my two-ounce coins are really up there. Actually, the Tiger I like the most. But this coin, uh, many of you might not even know about, but... It's a brand new coin from the Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, came out. It's the second one in the Wildlife series. And here it is. Canadian Maple Bust of the Queen. It looks the same. And you might all be thinking that it's a Timberwolf. But that it's not. It's the Canadian Grizzly. And, oh my god, is that an awesome coin. It says Canada right up here. 999, 999. Here, I'll get it to focus in a little bit. Fine silver, one ounce, argent pour. And here's the... Let me get a good distance. There's a mountain in the back. And really... Or, did I just say panda? I meant grizzly. Oof. I don't know. I, I think I said... I don't know what I said. I don't really care. But... It's just as beautiful as the pandas. Um, it's got that, that shiny finish on it. With a little bit of frosting. Not... Uh, I wouldn't say frosting, actually. It's just more matte finish. Not as bright. But... Whew, I love it. There's like... Like, there's not detail in the mountain, but the the mountains look just look really nice. Then the, the grizzly bear, he's, um, roaring, if you will. He's yelling and screaming, or whatever you want to say, roaring. And he's just standing up with the water in that side. Then the iceberg, or whatever he's standing on in that side. It could be land. But I just wanted to grab one of these coins, because... Like, the insane premiums on the Timberwolves, and this coin, I think, might even be nicer. I have to still pick up a Timberwolf. Um, probably the next coin show, I'm sure someone's going to have it, which is in the next 
two weeks. Well, there's a nice picture of it. Far, but cool. Alright, so thanks. Uh, shout out to Book of Nick for the free silver quarter. And thank you. Adios. Have a nice day. Rate, comment, subscribe. And